Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Mr. Crucial in my test world. Quick special here on one wide piston bud switches. Bud switch is a block update detector. Considering these are the piston versions, any face of the piston, when it detects an update, will activate the units. And uh, we can harness power from these units, so they become very useful. You can, there's all kinds of designs out there, get creative, these things are fucking it. This is cool. So the first one here is the ceiling model. It has five faces that can activate the unit. The piston's facing upwards, it's the lowest part of the unit, so it's very nice. It only requires one repeater, one redstone torch, and four pieces of dust, looped in a circle very simple and effective. Second one here is pretty much the opposite of the first one. Pistons facing downwards, same loop of power, one repeater, two torches, one piece of dust. This one only has four faces. You do lose a face, but equally as effective. This one here I've abused in my farms. I like it because all the faces are on one side of the unit and it's very easy to conceal but it has five faces that can activate the unit. Piston is on its side. It has two redstone torches, three pieces of dust and one repeater. This one here is the biggest of the four but the most useful. So, the piston's on its side, it's located in a silly spot in the center of the unit, and there's only three faces that will update the unit. But, this one acts as a normal bud switch, serves a quick pulse. By tweaking this repeater here, we can actually have it hold the pulse, and still activate it from the uh, three faces of the piston. So it'll be off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. You get the idea. So very useful. And this one is easily turned into a clock by rearranging things like this. And you have a clock. Easily adjustable as well. And you can control if the clock's on or off. <laughs> no, clock on, clock off. Awesome, right? And bonus, check this out. Roboticos came across this one. Cut the line really short, stick a block underneath it. Watch this. Rapid half tick pulse clicker clocker thinger. I don't know what the hell it is. But uh, <laughs> basically this line is clocking out so fast you don't even see it happening. I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Machine gun. <laughs> so, interesting right? Interesting. Now that I showed you the four different, my four preferred models of the bud switch, I'm going to show you a quick little feature you can add to each one of them basically to control the power if you want it off or on. This uh, will be very useful if you're trying to make designs which you want an off on switch. You don't have to redesign the whole farm, you can just add a different input to control if it's automatic or not. Some people might not understand that, but that's fine. So this one's the most simple. You basically, this was the line that had the torch this always has to be in the on state for the bud switch to work. Keeping that in mind, you now have the power option if you want the bud switch on or off. You can drag these lines wherever you want really as long as you use the same input that I'm going to be telling you right now. So the second unit, the input to control the power state would be this block here controlling this torch. I usually use a repeater for good measure. I know you don't have to, but trust me, a repeater going into a block is always more stable. So there's an easy way to control if this bud switch is on or off. Bud switch is off. 
but switch is on. Indicator torches, letting you know, is always fancy. This unit here, the exact same thing, you're just going to control that torch. So, again, repeater just for a more stable connection, you don't need it, but it works. The last unit here, this power source is the... <laughs> this block with the power source on it is powering the bud switch itself. So if we can change the state of that to off, we have the bud switch turned off. And that's pretty simple. Let's just invert this line. Now the line's off. We control this line with a lever. And it's an off and on bud switch. Fancy, huh? So that was my quick bud switch special. Those are very unique and useful designs, guys. So get them out there. I had a few questions no, uh, asking if these things still work in 1.9 pre-release 5. I just done the special on the pre-release 5 and yes my motion detectors and traps and everything still work. Go check out those videos and uh, please leave your comments below and rate it. Thumbs up. What am I talking about? There is no more rating in YouTube. Thumbs up guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Peace.